I'm going to show you two ways to remove the ring stand from the Xbox Series X. Why remove it? Some people want to do work inside the system and need to remove the screws that are hidden underneath the ring. Other people want to remove it because they want to display the system horizontally and don't want to see the ring on the side. It also opens up a little more side venting when displayed horizontally because the holes that held the ring are now open. This video is not for people who want to display the system vertically without the ring. That would block the vents and result in your system overheating. This is why Microsoft is so mum about removing the ring. There's still risk if you remove the ring and set the system horizontally. If there's something right up against the left side of the system, it would block the vents. Also, you may one day want to switch back to displaying it vertically and forget that there was a ring. Keep these things in mind when deciding whether or not to go through with this process. The first method involves removing the back first. There are two screws to turn. One is under this tab here. The other is under the sticker here. I used a number 8 Torx. This screw right here comes out a little bit, but for me it wanted to stay in, which turned out just fine. Begin pulling the back up on this end. It'll start popping out. Then work your way to the other end. When enough of it has popped out, you can pull in this direction and it'll slide right off. To remove the ring, you have to rotate it, but there's a locking tab that prevents the rotation right here. You have to take a flathead screwdriver and pry that tab upward while pushing on the ring this way and attempting to rotate it. So you're basically doing three things at once. I suggest you brace the other end with something heavy. That'll give you more pushing power. The second way to remove the ring is without taking off the back. That locking tab can actually be reached with a long but skinny flathead screwdriver. I recommend going through this hole right here. The tab is very hard to see through the holes, so a flashlight may be needed. A massive one would be ideal. There is some risk in removing the ring this way. If you press against that hole too hard, you could break the plastic around it. Also, you may mistakenly pry up something that's not the locking tab, since it's hard to see in there. Make sure you're not prying this tab right here, or the USB housing right here. So lift the proper tab, rotate this way, and push toward the system. And there you go. That's all I had today. If you're having some drift issues with your Series X controller, I made a video that shows seven things you can try. The link is on the screen right there. Take care, everybody.